Hi, I'm Monica Sancio. I usually say for an excellent lifestyle, no excuses not to work out, eat nutritiously, and have an excellent positive attitude. Yes, I am new at Lab and I love it. This platform is amazing. And we have Jacqueline and Cheval joining us today. Uh, it says poor internet signal, but I had to start. So as soon as possible, um, yeah, no, go ahead. Just jump in. Jump in when you're ready, okay? Because this is the, the idea of the lab to be a conversation. So uh, <laughs> I want to tell you what my theme is. Uh, why I say start on Monday? Because everybody says, oh, I'm starting on Monday. I'm starting a new exercise workout on Monday. I'm going to eat healthy starting on Monday. And then they forget about the weekend. So most probably you don't feel that great tonight on a Saturday or on a Sunday night. But then you'll feel better tomorrow because you have so much discipline. And yes, if we don't have discipline and we, we don't have that internal pressure to make ourselves better, we probably won't get anywhere. We won't get to be our potential. That's one of the things I truly believe. And uh, my idea here is actually I'm open to this. Uh, it's really to tell you that you can get your body really fit but you can't forget about your mind usually they go hand in hand and as you work out and as you get fitter your mind is also going to be fitter in fact for preventing alzheimer's disease uh walking is even more effective than doing sudoku or some kind of mind games it's amazing how exercise physical exercise really makes our mind sharper more alert more focused and what i call fit which would be the same as in body fitness is to be strong, you have to be flexible, you have to have endurance, and you have to have a connection with the rest of yourself. Because uh, there's some exercises like yoga that really help you get centered, balanced, relaxed, and just connect your mind, mind and your body. So guys, uh, are you ready to come in, to jump in? Jacqueline and Cheval? Um, I'm already okay. Here. I'm already okay. Here, um, well, I have some tips. Oh, hi, Beverly. I switched over to my phone because I don't think my computer is working. So now I'm on my phone, but I don't have a lot of battery left. I think I had about 50%. So let's hope it doesn't cut out on us. Hey, Jacqueline. Hello. This, how great. Okay, oh. so you guys, uh, it's your turn. Who's first? Jacqueline or Shalom? Okay. I'll go first. Yeah. Uh, it's like what for me, I'll say uh, I'm like I'm I'm already like de developing a positive mindset to to be grateful for everything every day, and 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 like you know especially for to the point of where you know nothing is nothing is handed to you easily. You have to work hard to, to achieve your goals for the better and. And what I'm uh, what I'm planning to do every time now is I like, try to, you know, wake up with a gratitude journal to to showcase every day, like especially around like you know downtown Houston, just to like just to like you know not just explore but appreciate, you know, being you know seeing seeing the the creation of what uh, many people have built, you know. If... Okay. okay. I have in there, but I, I love your gratitude journal. I think it's a great idea. It helps us people of what's really working in our lives. Yeah. Okay, now I can definitely, again. definitely. Okay, what brought you uh, here? <laughs> yeah, that's that's uh, I don't know. this is the first time that I've done a vlog with other people, so I'm thinking that Matthew uh, Cheval, Jacqueline can speak and then we can take turns. And yes, we have to... go ahead. So for me, this is also my um, I think it's probably my second or third blab that I've been a part of. Um, loving it, love Blab, it's fantastic. It's a total way of connecting with people and really getting to expand your reach and learning. So for me, and my purpose in coming here is I actually 
popped into another person who was actually doing a fitness thing. And I was like, wow, I never thought about Black for Fitness. This is fantastic. I'm huge about um, mind, spirit, and body. Uh, it's very important on a daily basis in order to achieve any of our goals. So starting with self, right? Like you say. Um, and uh, also the gratitude journal is a huge thing, something I've done so 16 years of age, now 42. Um, and I keep these in my office. And I started this one here last year, and it says alive, and it's a gratitude rock. I don't know if you could see it. No, and this can you get closer to the camera so we can read it. It says oh. alive, and oh. it's a constant reminder to me to oh, just wow. keep alive with a heart, starting with self. You need to live in love for yourself before anybody you can do that for. And then this one came to me when I was 16 years old. Let's see if you can see this one. Can you see that one? Yes, believe. Yeah, and it's kind of shaped as a heart. And I found that when I was 16 when I was hiking in the woods. So for me, um, the gratitude journal is huge. Um, writing in that is something that is, I think everybody should do. And even if it's one or two words of appreciation of what you're grateful for in life. So keying it into the whole fitness and how I got to your blog here. When I see and wow, this woman is actually out there. And she's talking about fitness and inspiring and coaching and, and all of this stuff. And Blab is a great place for me to learn and connect with people like yourself to keep me accountable on my daily goals, which is building more strength, building accountability, a uh, little bit of weight loss. I'm looking to lean out and uh, mind mass um, and also still being very successful in my business, which totally takes me away from the gym, which I need to get back to. So when I see in your blog, I'm like, this is fantastic. I need to tune into this so that I can remind myself on a daily basis to be thankful for what I have, but don't lose sight of my self-worth, which is keeping myself fit. Yeah, so that's kind of where I, how I got into this here today. Oh, yay, let's clap, let's give her props. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, who else wants to jump in and talk about your journey awesome. into fitness? What are your new plans for this week? There's somebody here, uh, let's see who's new, Doug. Doug, you want to join us? Come on, Doug. Like, yeah, don't be shy. Don't be, don't be, don't, don't be like we all are. We post that. Just jump on and just, what do you have to lose? We're just talking. <laughs> right? It's just conversations. Exactly. You, you said it best. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm probably I'm gonna, surprised. I'm going to go ahead and yeah. you show your gratitude go ahead drops. And, and I'm like, wow. Oh, yeah. And that's gratitude is, if you don't have gratitude, then what do you have to live for? And another thing that I keep very close to me, I'm known as the uh, fit chick here in Ottawa, Canada, and I started a group of women along with a girl from mine, uh, Melanie Boston, who's known as Vitamin M. Oh, wow. Here in Ottawa, and, it's, and it, that's called the Vitamin M Accountability. And what we've done is we've created 44 women in this specific group. There are men that are in a group as well who have like-minded goals within fitness but still has a very busy, whether you have children, family, life, career, it doesn't matter. But at the end of the day, you have to be accountable to self-worth of goal, which revolves around the, the gratitude. So this is also something I keep above my office desk and I'll show it to you and it's a reminder to keep our friends close to us like-minded fitness friends and what I did is I made a bunch of um this was at Christmas we do a Christmas show oh, wow. every year and I made a bunch of gifts for these ladies it had to be under ten dollars what do you do for ten dollars you go to the dollar store you get a frame and in this frame if you look at it there's different events that we host, and there's us as the women. We're all out at night at a, at a bar. We're laughing, having a great time. We're taking over the whole bar, doing squats, and we're all chewing our hand. This one here is our Spartan, first Spartan race that we had done three years ago. There's 11 of us out of 44 that committed to this five-kilometer goal with a lot of strength training, and we had to commit every single day to reach that goal. We all did it on your time. And then this one here, we're gone bowling. This is the three girls, vitamin M being on the far left, so we're in the middle. Uh, Rabane is in the far left, and I'm on the right side, and we're bowling. And again, we take over the whole bowling alley, and we turn into a fitness workout, right? And then this one here is us working out, getting ready for another race, being accountable and, and not giving up, right, and, and really pushing each other and, and, and showing that we can do this not only as one but as a team. And Blab, for me, and this what you brought here, is bringing a community of not just what's in my city but across Blab which is fantastic. Yeah. You're in yes. Canada. I'm in Venezuela. Where are you, Cheval? Hello. Well, he started with the gratitude, and then he kept on going, and I find it amazing to have that community of like-minded people who are the same, and they're keeping you accountable. So if you are the fit chick, 
Maybe you can give me your point of view, but I believe that mind and body are one. And yes. fit physically, we get fit mentally. And um, I was in, when I did the one in Spanish, I was recommending Stephen Covey, The Seven Habits, and how you can actually have daily rituals in the physical, mm -hmm. mental, and spiritual, and really keep yourself um, like, you know, uh, like he says, the seventh habit is the way to sharpen our saw and mm -hmm. really optimizing our physical capacity when it comes to strength and flexibility, mind body exercise. I think we can find the parallels in our mind too. I was Absolutely. sharing something that has been affecting me, something uh, very personal. And I've learned to even experience emotions. I don't know about you, but you know, usually sometimes. I bet you're a strong woman too, you know? Yes, I, yes we can do it, we can do it. But guess yes. what? We feel our feelings. <laughs> so, you know, I cried for less than 10 minutes. Like, I don't know how long I cried. And then I got up again because resilience is really important too. That's right, that's right. You, you can me? fall hard. It's all in how you get up from that fall, right? And there you go. You uh -huh. got to push yourself forward and push past that fear and that whole mind chatter. Turn it off and just keep going. You really got to do that in order to reach the goal. So what was the name of that book? Sorry, I didn't quite catch it. The, the name of the oh, book you showed. Was it in uh, Spanish? Yeah, this one is in Spanish, but I have I have other books in English, like this other book that you must know, maybe, The Portable Coach by Thomas Leonard. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, I talked about the 28 principles of uh, irresistible attraction and how it's related to coaching. Well, because he okay. is the father of coaching. <laughs> and, yes, uh, yes. Uh, this is the uh, Stephen Covey. Okay. The eighth habit, and uh, the seven habits of highly effective people. I don't okay. have it here, but I have it somewhere. <laughs> Jacqueline, well, is I that your book? Of, is that your library book at home? All your all your books that you read in behind you. That's just part of it. <laughs> oh wow! Have, you have, you love your reading. That's fantastic. I do. I love reading as much as I love exercising. Wealth of knowledge. That's you. great. Me, Tell I'm, me about I, business because you say that your business keeps you away from the gym. Why? How's, how's uh, what, 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 what's happened with my business? It's called Made the Day, and I operate out of two cities, one being Ottawa, one being Toronto. And Made the Day is just the umbrella name, but we actually offer quite a few services underneath that name. Um, obviously, Made being clean service. Right, and we do an organization service. We do a decluttering. We do pack and move out, staging. You name it. We do it. Anything to do with cleaning and organizing. Then I take it a step further, and this was started ten years ago. So I take it a step further with called Senior Loving Hands, and that also was branched out ten years ago. My goal is to keep all of our seniors in the home as long as we possibly can without putting them into long term care facilities or retirement sector. So my goal is to bring the family together the community together and really educate them on, on it's sad to say, but with the, uh, the government and the way that it's going, cutbacks and laybacks and really putting our seniors into this long-term care is like putting them into prison. I've come from that field of 15 years, walked away from it two years ago and said, I'm going to retire from that sector and really both and brand made the day so that I can put 110% into my community. So that's another division of it. And then I go a step further and I offer called clean eating to your door. And what that is, is I provide all meals in home fresh, no can, no frozen, no um, box. Um, coming from a vegetarian background of the last 22 years, now presently going into a vegan base uh, for my own health personal reasons. Um, I've really had to learn how to work with food and how it generates. Coming from nursing, how does it affect the body? And what foods do you need to use, especially with the seniors, with diabetic and renal and the whole nine yards. Spent a few, good many years in the kitchen in a nursing home as well to really understand and learn what food does and how it works. So clean eating to your door came about with Senior Loving Hands, but it also really came up and how the name became branded three years ago was for my fitness people out there. Let me be your clean eating to your door. Should it be for just work exercise um, and you need healthy food for to and from work, or if you're going competition stage, it doesn't matter what it is. You tell me what your likes are, your dislikes are, your goals. I'll do my best to work out. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a whole, any of that. But I am certainly can give you my years of experience. And I always ask them that you, de you definitely double check with your doctor and nutritionist. It's just something that I offer my clients. And uh, so far, it's been great. So with all of that happening and rebranding in the last 
we'll say two years, but really the last year was me actually coming out from un underneath the keyboard and saying, Jacqueline Shinneman is made the day because nobody knew me on social media. For the last 10 years, I was always word of mouth through in your homes. So now that I've had to rebirth this and really take it on and work more on the business, not in the business per se, and delegate and bring in teams, it really is kind of taken away a bit of my time from the gym. Um, to squeeze it in, unless I go to the gym at five in the morning, because my mornings start as early as six and they end as late as 11 o'clock. So it's, it's really just a matter of me blocking in that time. So again, there's no excuse. I should certainly block it in and just do it. <laughs> I should practice what I preach, right? That's awesome. That's yeah. All that. I'm almost, uh, wow. I would so always... I do a lot. What? I said, so I really do a lot. So that's kind of what you keeps me do. busy. Maybe you're working too much, Jacqueline, don't you think? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm 40, I was just turned 42. I don't have any children. Uh, my goal, to be quite honest, was to retire at the age of 50. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that was my goal. Uh, financially, I would be reaching that goal, not going to lie. But um, it's not quite, I'm not quite ready to, to, to do that yet. So in order for me to spend less time and what I mean by less time is I want to work about 30 hours in my business I really have to spend the next six months to a year in building the infrastructure in the background so that I have teams and leaders underneath me so that I can actually do that so yeah that's that's kind of where my goal sits at right now um but I'm leaving on Monday if it helps to go to Italy for a week <laughs> Wow. So I, I certainly take time away. Like I do get oh. my vacations, five to six, nice. seven, sometimes seven days, seven, five, five to seven weeks a year is kind of where I break free and I walk away from the business. So, um, yeah. But when I'm, when I'm working, I'm working. <laughs> right. Yeah. Have fun, you have fun. You work hard, you play hard. Yes, I do. Thank you so much for sharing. And oh, no problem. I not work too much because that's part of the coaching. But, yes, we have to stick to the subject of, Getting your mind and body fit so you can stay fit in Italy. And <laughs> oh, yes. Well, I'm going with my fit chicks. I'm going with some of the girls on the team. There's 11 of the core girls that I'm going yeah. with. So there's, there's certainly going to be, uh, I'm sure, some exercise. But the goal is to eat as much pasta as they can and have some wine and relax and enjoy. So that's <laughs> kind of the goal. But, uh, yeah, we won't be lifting any iron, and that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, and you can invite one of them if they're available right now. But now, okay, I'll, I'll I'll send them a message while you chat. Then I'll see if I can get them to join sure. us. Maybe you can get one of them so that you talk yeah, well. about that. And uh, let's stick to the subject of what does it mean for your mind and body to be fit, Cheval? Because you talked about gratitude, and that's super important for the, for our health, for our fitness. What else is important to you, and what are you planning on improving on this week? What is your goal? Starting my Cheval. My goal. Um... Yeah. Yes, uh, Mike. Yeah. Yes. Hey, hey guys. Yeah, we can, can you hear me. Okay, my goal. All right, my goal also is to is to try to like spend like also spend thirty minutes like walking a day. You know, trying to keep myself you know healthy, and also so I would say. I also try to like you know eat healthy as well. Try to gain, try to like uh, you know pull, you know try to try to move transition slowly into uh, eat healthy too. So that's my that's also my goal too. Okay, wonderful. Well, what we can do is we can uh, we can schedule a new lab sometime this week, Jacqueline, or whenever. Yes. Okay. And then, you know, we say that again. I missed the beginning part. I missed the beginning. It kind of broke up. No, uh, Cheval says he's going to start walking more, right? Oh, he's going to start walking more. That's fantastic. Yeah. And, and uh, how much time are you going to walk? When you say walking more, what are you going to commit to? What's your accountability time? That's what it's all about being accountable, right? To make change. I okay, think we may so have lost him. Yeah, again. Jeez. Yeah, it says, I'll put it in the chat and I'll ask him. I think we lost him. Okay, yeah. Anyway, uh, Jacqueline, it, it's great to meet you, and I think we could schedule a new blab, perhaps. For sure. About a certain subject that we're all in. For instance, you say you're going to be vegan soon. I'm vegan. Well, yeah, I am vegan right now. Like, I've, I'm in the transition of it. It's been about two and a half months okay. that uh, I am vegan. Um, I'm only doing it for a short while, just for a total cleanse. 
um, just because I think my body's kind of plateaued a bit. So I just really needed to, um, and when I say a vegan, I, I used to only eat uh, fish and um, egg and cheese and um, like shrimp. Like I didn't do uh, any of the other type of meats and animal products. So what I've done is I've removed all of those three items, not very much. <laughs> I just kind of stripped it out completely and just went 100% vegan. Um, big difference I've noticed in the two months, but again, it's only two months, right? You need to give it a bit more time to really shock and, and feel a change in your body. Um, yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at. How long have you been vegan? Uh, for four years. And before that, what, did you eat animal products? Or Very like similar to you. I was just uh, having sardines, salmon, and eggs. So yeah, so yeah, like very similar, yeah. yeah I wasn't hungry at all. And before that, you were vegetarian for a long time? Like I never ate meat since I was eight years old, and I think I know why. So I'm just saying that could be one of the subjects for our next class. Yes, yes, but sounds you know, good. Maybe people are looking at this because of the title. So I would like to close this lab with okay. three tips. Uh, Cheval, you can start first, then Jacqueline, and then I can finish with some tips on how to get your mind and body fit starting tomorrow, which is Monday. Okay. The, I'll go ahead and I'll say it. For me, I would say the, the best thing, okay. the first thing, is you got to write it down. Um, and by writing it down, you have to commit. And by committing, you have to follow through. So that's that's a big one. Um, getting your mind in the set. Uh, if, if, if looking at videos is something that motivates you to move, then do what I just did tonight. I searched in, fitness coach and blah, blah, blah. And here she came, right? And here it's got me motivated and thinking about tomorrow that I am going to hit the gym at 6 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to make that time. And I've written it down. It's here. I wrote it down, 6 a.m. It's <laughs> in my blot spot that I'm going to hit the gym. So write it down. That's my tip. Awesome. Yay! Yes. <laughs> Next, Cheval, your turn. Giving props to Jacqueline. Okay, Thank so you. I'll go ahead. Uh, for me, uh, surround myself with the right people. I'll surround myself with the right people to make sure that, 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 I, that, I, keep, that I keep my commitment to my goals in in uh, writing my in writing my third book for the better, and also also try not to break any promises on you know to on what I committed to. Just uh, like if I said I was going to. Uh, Going to walk 30 minutes a day. I want to make sure I keep that commitment too. So that's that's the most important thing that I'm going to do is to just keep my commitments to walking 30 minutes a day and transition into eating more healthy Yay! for the better. Yay! <laughs> okay, fantastic. And <laughs> I would love to connect with more people who are interested in getting fit, healthy, happy, free. And in building a community within Blab in which we can all give our best, just like Jacqueline and Shiva have nourished us with their knowledge and their journeys because we're all on a path that's similar and at the same time different. We're just getting to the same place, right? That's right. I didn't know you guys until today. No. And who that's knows? right. Shiva will create a movement, and I do believe in that. And basically, I believe in you, that you can be a better version of yourself by being fit. That's going to make you healthier. And as you eat more nutritiously, and as Chevelle said, also be with the right people, the right mindset, you're also going to be a person who's going to have a greater positive attitude and therefore better health. So it's all connected. It's like That's your right. Technology. <laughs> anyway, That's right. Um, it's kind of hard uh, to end this because I would like to keep talking to you guys. You're so interesting. I love what you do for your business. I'm fascinated. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so interesting. And Cheval, you have to tell us more about yourself, too. And I'm going to invite the audience to go check out okay. my, where it says book now, the strategic consultation that I have for free, if anybody okay. is interested. And that way you can get some of my questions. Thank you so much. Peace. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Peace. All right. Peace. See you soon. <laughs> okay.
Good night. All right, guys. Yeah, have a nice day. You. Make it an awesome week. Have, have a good night, everyone. <laughs> yeah, it all starts with you. Definitely. Right? Thanks. Okay. Ready, set, Cheval. I'm Monica signing out. Bye. <laughs> okay, now you know. See you soon. Thank you so much to Jacqueline, to Cheval, to you for watching. And if you love it, thank you for sharing it with the world because we all need to get fitter, happier, and healthier. Bye. Especially if you have